morning, everybody. Welcome back to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Mal Williams here in beautiful Coburg, Oregon at the Marathon Coach Facility. Don't forget, we also have facilities in Florida and Texas. So if you have any questions or uh, needs out of those facilities, please feel free to contact them, Texas and Florida, along with the Coburg, Oregon location. It's kind of overcast here in Coburg, but it's been a beautiful weekend. Hope you had a good weekend and thank you for joining us. If you have any questions along the way, we can take your comments. Comment right there on Facebook or email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. So uh, we're talking this morning about, hey, you know, what should we do? Well, this is one of my favorite pre-owned coaches that we have here at the Coburg location. This is Marathon Coach 1151. 1151 is designed to fit at least, well, it'll, it'll suit up to at least six people comfortably. And we're gonna show you how that is. It's a 2008 marathon. It is a double slide and it's one of my favorites because it's so versatile. And I'm gonna show you the versatility. Is that a word, Mickey, versatility? Yeah. I think it is. If not, I just made it up. <laughs> It's so, definitely a word. <laughs> it's, it's a word. I like it. So we're right here off I-5. The coach is a little dusty, but that's because we're right conveniently located for you right off of I-5. So when you're out there watching us this morning, feel free to check in with your comments. Let us know who it is and what you're watching, uh, where you're watching from. If you're in Charlotte, if you're in Utah, if you're in uh, Portland like I'm from originally. Let us know where you're watching from, and we really appreciate it. We have Reginald from the scorching hot city of Las Vegas. Ah, yes. Brian from Wilmington, North Carolina, and Lee from Tennessee. Excellent. Thank you so much, you guys. Please feel free to comment and ask questions as we move along. Just so we can get it out of the way right now, the 2008 Marathon Coach 1151 is $739,000. So with that being said, the first thing I want to do is look at the outside of it because it's just beautiful. I love the colors and this is one of those color schemes that never gets old. This is, this is almost a 10 year old coach and I love the design. I love the colors. I mean, my personal home is painted gray. So of course, of course I like the dark colors. I like the browns. I like the grays um, on this coach. So let's look at the entertainment bays. Uh, the storage bays, the entertainment bays. I'm going to put this uh, down real quick. All right. I grabbed the Crestron so we could look at the awnings because those are, those are the Gerard awning package, which is always nice. First thing, let's uh, look at the first bay, which is the storage bay. Lots of storage in here. You got your marathon coach uh, door. Uh, what am I trying to say here, guys? Rug? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Uh, for your front door, that's nice. Bay number two. Take a look at this. Now, this is a barbecue on a power slide. And you hit slide out, and it's going to come right out towards you. And James, if you want to get an angle on this side. So, lots of storage here for all your barbecuing needs. And it's got some custom seats. And this is a beautiful barbecue. This is the Magic Chef. Is this the Magic Chef? Very convenient as it comes out. how far it goes in and how far it goes out. I'm going to bring that guy back in a little bit. Right about there. All right. Let's take a look. Your generator. Didn't know it was on. Very quiet when it's inside there. Entertainment bay. Take a look at that. Upgraded sharp. Comes out. And with the pull of this pin right here, it can swivel whichever way you need it to swivel. 
It's got AM FM in here with good good stereo system. And that's pretty much the base. Let's pull out the awnings. So I go to my Crestron pad. I go right to awnings. I select select curbside forward and I extend it. And then curbside rear and I extend it. Hold While down. Those are extending. We have Jordan from Kansas, Matt from Ohio, um, Conrad from Germany. Germany, that's awesome. And then Reginald, would you like a reminder of what today's topic is? If you could tell them the coach number. And the Absolutely. Area. This is Marathon Coach 1151. It's a double slide H uh, on at retail for $739. And this, the reason that we selected this coach as a pre-owned coach to profile this morning was because of the versatility of it. There is a lot of room in this coach. You can fit up to six people comfortably, maybe even more. Now, we're, when we get inside, I'm going to show you that. But this is a great example of a pre-owned Marathon. When you purchase from Marathon, these coaches go through a lengthy, as you know with Dave Bash, a very lengthy inspection so that we know that it's standing tall. Other than that, it's just a great example of how a marathon coach is almost 10 years old and has been very well taken care of and maintained. As you can see from the bays, there's a lot going on out here. You got the awnings out. You can see that it would be very nice at night to entertain out here. It's set up perfectly for tailgating. So for those of you who like to tailgate with sports teams or just by yourself in a camping spot, this is it. This is set up for you. Lots of room, lots of entertainment in these bays. The awnings are out and it's just a nice aesthetics at night. And any other comments, Mickey, before we go inside and check it out? Well, we hear that bay hookup is really nice. Nice, very well done. Okay, let's head inside and check out 1151. So the first thing you're going to see is the marble floor. It has carpet just right here in the salon area. It's covered right now with plastic so that the carpet stays clean when we're showing it to people or when we are walking through it. It's got, let's, let's first ta start talking about seating. Two sleeper sofas right here in the salon. A lot of coaches, their floor plan has a recliner over here on the patio side and a sofa over here. This one was customized to have two sleeper sofas that go down to very comfortable sleeping quarters for those that need it. Just like that, you got a sleeper on that side, you got a sleeper on that side. Now we know about grandkids. Grandkids can fit two to a side. Also, a couple of adults could fit on this. So you literally could get four if you wanted to, uh, but it, it's, it's definitely good for a sleeper here and a sleeper there. There's also storage back here. Storage right here and right here. U good utilization of space. Let's put this guy back up. I love these. Mickey, you like these? These are like the zip up. I do Blank, love blanket those. pillows. I, I want one. I like them. All right. So you've got an LG TV right here in the salon facing the sofas. That's great for entertainment. Let's move here into the galley. The galley is set up with a dinette on this side. Now, the thing about this dinette, we've already been talking about six people can sleep comfortably in this coach but also in marathon 1151 it extends out it extends out so do the seats take a look at this James you open this guy right here you pop in the extra seat extension which comes with the coach and you can easily fit six people and this plastic fruit comes with the coach All right, lots of storage 
above the dinette. Lots of storage here in the galley. You've got the, the Fisher Peichel uh, dish drawer, D also known as a dishwasher. You've got the Avantium 120 convection uh, microwave from GE. You've got a Maytag side-by-side -side, uh, refrigerator, freezer. Now that's full size. That's nice. Storage throughout the galley, including above the side-by-side. These are nice. Spice racks and pantry built in together, and you got two of them. Good utilization of space once again. This is we're literally standing in the slide, so at the end of the slide, you've got great utilization of space. Marble flooring. So we went from uh, covered carpet for protection reasons into the marble flooring. If you take a close look at this marble floor, this is a good example of Marathon Coach quality. This flooring was installed 10 years ago and it's almost flawless. We have a comment that the interior layout is perfect. Wow, a 10 year old design that looks as if it were finished yesterday. And that thumbs up. Now, who said that? Reginald said that, and Christopher said, beautiful coach. Absolutely. Reginald, as always, you're very observant, and you I can't agree with you more, and that's why we were talking about, hey, let's look at this coach this morning and show everybody that watches Marathon Mondays, because this is, like you commented, a great example of a coach that looks like a 2018, and it's almost 10 years old. Well, I guess it would be if, it's, if we're on 2018s, which we are. Okay, staying with the theme of fitting a lot of people into this coach, this floor plan is great. Take a look at this. It's going to get a little bit dark in here, but we're going to move into where the bunks are. There's two bunks. you got double bunks. Both of them have Alpine Entertainment, pop-down screens, DVD players. These bunks are not children bunks. These bunks can fit kids, they can fit adults comfortably that are over six foot. They have curtains that flow over the front of them. Did I just say flow? I think I did. Look at that, they flow. Okay, so you've got the double bunks, you've got storage underneath for the people that are gonna be staying in those berths. So the question is, what do you lose by achieving the bunks? Well, you just push the, the bathroom on this side. So take a look at the size of this bathroom. You've got bunks on one side, you've got bathrooms on the other. You still achieve a really good size shower. You've got your toilet and you've got your sink in here and you've got tons of storage. You've got storage up here on both sides and you got storage down here and let's let's back you up just a little bit James I want to show you something so this can be one contained room and I'm going to show you how they do that so the bath doors can close all the way if I hit this button come on in here Jim Kirk doors also known as pocket doors close this is a solid because you don't want a mirror right here where you're sleeping this is a mirror which adds dimension when it's closed so let's go back this way you can close off the bathroom you can close off the galley see you in a bit So whoever's sleeping up front here, or still entertaining up here, or doing the dishes, or cleaning, or eating, this can be closed so that they're not disturbed, or the people that are sleeping up in the bunks are disturbed. We have a question. Sure. Did Al design the coach, or the owner? And then we have a comment, I can see the camera guy. Of course you can. Camera guy. I'm <laughs> doing it on purpose. I like that guy. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure on Al Christensen. I can email you back if you throw your email in there, or actually I'll just comment right there on Facebook. I'll let you know. I don't see an elephant right off, but then again, it's a 10-year-old coach. 
the previous owner may have taken the elephant out and kept it for good luck. I don't know. But let's check this out. Also, the pocket door closes to the bedroom. So you can close the galley pocket door, you can close the bathroom pocket doors, or you can close the door that goes to the bedroom. Now, the other thing you can do is only close part of the bathroom door. So this portion of the bathroom door would stay closed so not to disturb those that are staying up here in the bunks. And you can open this so the people that want to can still have access. So it can be a full pocket door open and closed or it can be a partial open and closed situation. That adds a lot of flexibility for, especially for those that are staying up here. It can literally contain this hallway into a room for those that are staying in the bunks. So let's open up the bath doors. Hallway lights can go down, hallway lights can go up. Into the bedroom. Marathon Coach Florida says hello. They're hey. on their lunch break and they're watching. Awesome. Welcome, welcome our Florida friends from uh, Marathon. If those of you who are on the East Coast or down South, don't forget to stop into the Florida location, also the Texas location. Uh, great guys down there and the best place to take your coach for service or we have a lot of pre-owned and new coaches in both of those locations. So if you're looking for a new coach or a pre-owned, head on into Florida or Texas. Best place to start, of course, is the website. So welcome to the bedroom of 1151. Uh, a lot of storage. That's one thing you're going to see in here. Lots of storage, lots of closet space. Um, you've got your audio visual here in the back. Boom, and you can close that off just with that. It's also got a bar. It's, it's technically a walk-in closet, so you can close it or you can keep it open. I always like to keep it open because it adds an extra dimension to the room. So you can walk in here. you got your audio visual. I think we got our direct TV receivers out right now because the new owner would would get new receivers from direct TV. It's got a bar for a closet. You got storage on each side of the bed. You got storage above the bed. You've got storage across from the bed. You've got the sharp TV right here, which is a good size TV, and you still have full utilization of both sides of the windows in the bedroom. We have a comment that this bus is perfect for artists on tour in Europe. That's a good point. And uh, I was talking with someone last week about the fact that this coach is perfect for those that would be touring with a band, that we'd be touring for any reason. Um, it's perfect for families that want to either go full time in a coach or for families that are looking to, or families that have a lot of size. So let's say you've got uh, a family of four plus the grandparents. Everybody can head out in the same coach. It's got adequate storage underneath the bay as we already saw earlier in this episode. Plus, it's got comfortable seating for six people. So the grandparents could come along with the family of four. Even a dog could fit in here quite well, like my man, um, my man uh, Randy. So lots of storage, got another sink up here. storage here. This is a shirt closet. And then down here. Sharice says gorgeous interior. Oh, is that Sharice Williams? It is. That's my sister. Say good morning to my sister, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> it is gorgeous, Sharice. And when we were kids, we would have loved these bunks. Actually, we had bunk beds when we were kids, so that was pretty cool. Okay, lots of storage underneath. I like that because it's a full utilization. Let's go in here. All right, before we sign off on this Monday, let me know if you have any more questions. We're going to be on for another three, four minutes, but I want to show you one more thing. We really didn't talk about the cockpit, but the cockpit's beautiful. Let's run down there before we show you one more thing. I'm going to shut this door. you got carbon fiber accents going from the bar leading up to the salon, you got carbon fiber on the door, the handles, and the dash. 
it's a good blend because the captain's seat and the passenger seat or the co-pilot seat is the same color. You've got that brownish gray leather accented with the black inserts which goes very well. It's like a pebbled black that goes very well with the carbon fiber look. Copilot has their own little monitor on this side. So Reginald asked if we can pan around the inside of the coach and the outside. Yes, absolutely. So I'll tell you what we're going to do, Reginald. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you one more feature of this coach and then we're going to go out so we're going to do a little bit of panning inside so you can see the full aspect of the coach and then we'll go outside and uh, do that so James why don't you come over here one of my favorite features to show I'll have you come over here so you can see it from this angle <laughs> one of my favorite features to show is the theater mode now this is a 2008 and it's got theater mode you go to the Crestron, you don't need a remote, a bunch of remote controls. This Crestron controls all the lights, it controls all the TVs and audio visual, it controls the awnings, and it controls one of my favorite aspects. You go to the salon, and you go to DVD Theater Start. With the push of one button, as many of you have seen before, the lights dim, the blinds come down, and the TV in front and in the front by the cockpit comes down and starts on your input one. I say we stay and watch a movie after we're done with this episode. I like it. I'm with you on that. What would we watch though? <laughs> Caddyshack? The Shining? It's a little dark in here right now. <laughs> RV? RV. Very good. The Long Long Trailer? The are these movies that Marathon has been involved with? No, but they're movies that have to do with RVs. That's right. Transformers. Transformers. Is that Mark Wahlberg? Anything Mark Wahlberg I'm in for. Okay, so let's go back to the salon and we'll hit theater end. Go right to our Crestron control with one button. Theater end. The lights slowly dim up. All of the automatic blinds in the galley and the salon and the cockpit move up. Your sister says three amigos. Chris says ET. I'm down with three amigos. That's a that's a oh well. It doesn't get any better than that. Don't let me start singing moon shadows on the trail. So ET, that's a good one too. Ah, uh, Steven Spielberg, right? I watched Jaws this weekend. There's a good one. I love Jaws. Yeah. It's, it's one of my wife's favorites. So here we are at 1151. If you have any questions on this coach, email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. I can get you more information. As we have seen, and we're going to see right now, as requested by Reginald, this is the ultimate coach for fitting multiple people or for those who just want extra room. These sofas are perfect for dogs. Perfect. We've got a couple of owners that have a couple of German Shepherds. We know some owners that uh, train Weimariners. They would love this extra space. So James is going to go around. I'm going to stop talking as much so you can see the coach. Let us know if you have any more comments or questions. I like this laminate too. It's got a good size sink. It's got a cooktop. It's got instant hot water, which is always nice. You don't have to wait for the hot water. doors throughout and of course we all know that the main benefit of a pocket door is that they don't have to be closed a lot of RVs and motorhomes have swing doors and swing doors always have to be closed to allow access to move throughout 
pocket doors can be open, adding that additional dimension to your hallways or to your rooms. somebody comment with Frozen? That's a great movie too. Anything Pixar, I'm down with. Anyone seen Cars 3 yet? Because I haven't seen it. One of our clients Now wait, it. you saw a movie this weekend, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I saw Baby Driver. Baby Driver, was that very, good? It was very good, yes. Yeah, the trailer looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in that. Oh, Days of Thunder. Man, that was on TV. Days of Thunder, when Tom Cruise was... Oh. He was so good in that. He's Robert Duvall and Tom Cruise, one of our one of a marathon marathon coach owner. And uh, Larry the Cable Guy, who's in Cars Three. That's he's... right. Larry the Cable Guy, the Mr. Get Her Done. Well, we like we like to reference Mater. Okay, let's head on outside and get a good visual of the entire outside of the coach before we take off and wish you a good Monday. I'm gonna pull these that barbecue. In. Oh, there's a refrigerator. That's right. Don't forget, there's a refrigerator on the other side of the barbecue. That's kind of cool. For those of you who are Daniel Tiger fans, that's Nifty Galifi. We're going to put this guy in. So should we go check out the other side? We still have the awnings out, which is kind of affecting the light, but you get to really good, get to a good idea of it. Let's go look at the other side. So what's everybody doing this week? Right in the middle of summer, in my opinion. I'm headed off to Indianapolis tomorrow for the FMCA convention at the Indianapolis Fairgrounds. But I'll have my uh, iPad with me. Maybe we'll do a little bit of conversing from out there. If you have any questions, this side you can see both slides are out. It really is. And Terry, thank you for commenting. It's good to, good to hear from you again. Anyone who's interested in uh, taking a tour, we do daily tours here at the Marathon Coburg location. Also, our Florida and Texas guys, they can take you on a tour of their facility. But if you want to see the manufacturing plant in Coburg, we do daily tours at 1130 every day. That's Monday through Friday every day at 1130. The tour here at Marathon is excellent. You get to see uh, a real in-depth uh, idea of what it really takes to put together a, a luxury coach and not just any luxury coach but the best in the world so uh, any other comments or questions thank you to everybody for commenting uh, I hope you have a good week uh, this this show is really fun I'm learning so much not only from doing this show and from the other employees here at Marathon but from the comments and questions and emails that I get I I really appreciate it, and uh, Marathon Mondays with Mal is something that we really enjoy doing, and uh, we'll continue to bring it to you every Monday, so thank you. Feel free to email me. You know the email, and there it is on your screen, malw at marathoncoach.com. So for Mickey and James, I'm Mal. I'm going to go inside and answer your emails. Take care, everybody.